No, I think Brock's been scrambling and making plays ever since we got him in. I mean, all you got to do is go back to the first game versus Miami, and Brock makes a lot of plays with his legs. And in college, too, um, makes a lot of off schedules. So I thought it looked like how Brock looks every time he plays. How was Christian okay? Uh, yeah, I think he got, I mean, he said he got like a little bit of stinger when he went down there. And that's just what his words were. He had to come out for a play, and you know, Elijah went in there and scored, but I know at the end, but Christian was good to go back. Kyle, Dan Campbell's obviously known for his key risks and going forward on fourth down. How big was it a swing in momentum when you were able to stop on that fourth and three? Oh, it was huge. I mean, both of them. I mean, to make it a three-score game and us to be able to pull it to two scores, especially the way the game was going. I, mean, I felt like we kind of blew it when we started out with the ball and we didn't get a touchdown. You know, we got three points. So um, for us to hold them there and them not to get any points, which you stop them on fourth down, really look at that almost the same as a turnover. So um, that was huge by us today. And But I mean, this, you live and die with that stuff. It would have been would have been really hard to deal with it if they moved the chains on that fourth and two also. So um, that's why everything comes down to certain plays. And, what happens in those plays you gotta live with. But a lot of all the BAA, is that how you practice it pretty much? Uh, I mean, that, that definitely is the read. When middle third safety cuts um, the high cross, that's where the ball's supposed to go. Uh, last time he did that, I think, was versus Arizona um, uh, at home. I think that was like week five or something. Um, we did it again. They cut, they threw it to BA, but the corner was on top, and BA went up and made a hell of a catch. And it's really almost exactly what happened today, too. I mean, when they cut, usually the middle's open, but the corner was disciplined and stayed on top, so you couldn't run by him. And but Brock read the defense, gave BA a shot, and um, BA made him right. So just going back to the uh, fourth and short, I think you already explained it, but were you shocked? Just given the situation that he decided to go for it instead of the field goal? Uh, not really. I mean, I think that's pretty. Good. That's how they've done it most of the year, and I think that's one of the reasons why they were here. So like, I mean. Win a lot of games making some of those decisions, and then you make some decisions and you lose them. I mean, I don't think it always comes down to that. There's lots of plays that happen in the game, but I mean, that's a decision that we all have to make, and um, it doesn't surprise me because he's made a lot of those decisions um, throughout the year that won them a lot of games, also. What sense did you get from your players? Was it calm even when you're down 17? Was it a little urgency? What, what mood did you get from those guys as this was starting? Uh, I think we were just pissed off. I think guys were extremely pissed. I mean, that. The first half wasn't just that we were down by 17. It was the way we were down. Um, they were kind of having their way in the run game. Um, we weren't getting much in our run game either. And we don't want to go out like that. We didn't know how, I mean, we dug ourselves in a big hole. But it wasn't just talking about how to win this game. It was talking about how to start playing right. Uh, we got we got too much respect for our team. And um, I just that would that would have been a real rough way to end it if, if we kind of played better with with our group. And that's why I was so proud of the guys. They didn't. They didn't really care about anything except finding a way to win. And you can see it on their faces. You can see it at halftime. And you can see it in that third quarter. And you can see it all the way to the end of the game. Uh, what, are your early, what are your early thoughts on a Super Bowl 54 rematch? Um, none. I'm excited that we're going there. Um, and happy for the Chiefs, too. Um, I'm going to have a lot of fun tonight, probably, with my family and everything. And come in a little bit of slow motion tomorrow. <laughs> and. Um, figure out all the Super Bowl tickets, all the traveling and stuff. That takes a lot of time for the players and their families. And uh, the coaches will start getting to go on Kansas City while they do all that. And probably give the guys a couple days off. And then we'll get to our game plan and practice and either by Wednesday or Thursday. Okay, I'll take one more. Fred Warner's been good all year, but he had an extraordinary game tonight. Uh, what's your, your thoughts on Fred tonight? Fred, um, I mean, Fred played like to me like a NFL defensive MVP. Played at that level to me. I mean, he does every year. And there's always a group of guys who can deserve it, but um, Fred is always one of those guys. And, you know, um, you, you hope when you have players like that, they do it in these type of games. And uh, Fred did. And that's one of the reasons we're still playing. Lance, last one. I was just going to ask, why do you anticipate being in slow motion tomorrow? <laughs> because you guys won't let me get out of here. <laughs> it's, uh, I know guys are going to have some fun tonight. And, you know, you do have two weeks. We're gonna have a meeting with all the ticket guys and stuff, and so we'll put it off a little bit longer. Uh, lots of families in there and stuff, so let the guys sleep in a little bit for treatment, but uh, we'll still get our work in. All right, guys, pray to be next. All right, guys, thanks. Thank